You know what I saw the other day? It just kind of confirmed that the franchise I'm a fan of is just absolute poverty because not only have we never won a Super Bowl, I think everybody already knows that the Cardinals are ringless. But I also found out that we have also never had an MVP winner in our franchise history. Do you know how old the Cardinals franchise is? Date this thing back to St. Louis and we are one of the oldest franchises in NFL history. Actually, we are the oldest. You look it up yourself and it literally tells you in the first sentence, 1898 is when the Cardinals were founded and they are the oldest team in the National Football League, but they are also one of the least successful in league history. Having won just two NFL championships, doesn't matter, it literally happened in the 1900s, I don't count that. So if you're a Dallas fan, I don't count your Super Bowls either, it's been like 50 years. Stop bringing it up, stop living in the past. We have never won a Super Bowl and we are pathetic as a franchise. Shout out to my parents for birthing me here because I just, you know, I don't know why, but ever since I've been born, Cardinals fan, Suns fan, ride or die Arizona. My dad is a Dallas Cowboys fan. I just never hopped on the bandwagon. You know, we've always clashed and it is what it is. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of trash. You're just like me. Trash. So seeing this graphic right here, I'm probably gonna pull it up right here. It just got my mind rolling. Like, are we ever going to have an MVP candidate? Because the last time we legitimately had somebody in consideration was Carson Palmer in 2015. You guys remember the season that he had? It was an insane year. We were the number one seed, had a 13 and three record. As a Cardinals fan, I will stand on the hill that he was robbed. Cause he was slinging that thing. He had 35 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 4,671 yards, 63.7% completion percent, and a 104.6 rating. Just absolutely ridiculous, led one of the best offenses I've ever seen, especially when it comes to Arizona. But I think the winner was Cam Newton. So, I mean, he had a fantastic season. He had like 35 passing touchdowns. He had 10 interceptions, 10 rushing touchdowns as well. Just ridiculous. So as much as I wanna say he was robbed, he really wasn't. That's just the bias I have in me, but genuinely, he was in consideration. I don't remember where he finished, but that was the last time we actually had somebody in the running at the end of the year. We had Kyler Murray for the first like eight games. He was on pace to being the MVP back in like 2021, but he got injured. And as soon as that happened, lost all momentum and it was shot down. So it really got me thinking, when are we going to have somebody legitimately be in contention for that? Because looking at our roster right now, we all know how MVPs work. It goes to the quarter. Bad. Don't believe me? Let's take a look. Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Pat Mahomes, Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, Adrian Peterson. Literally the last non-quarterback to win an MVP was in 2012. So out of the past, whatever, what is that, 12 years, we haven't had a non-quarterback take home the award. And I think last year was the time to finally break it because quarterback play took a massive decline. It wasn't the same elite play we're used to seeing Tyree Kill and Christian McCaffrey both had better seasons, should have got it over Lamar, but they didn't. And that is just because it is basically a quarterback award now. So statistically speaking, it has got to go to a quarterback. And do I believe that Kyler Murray can actually win this award? Because at his peak, we saw him balling out. During his first eight games, he had a passer rating of 110.4, 2,276 yards, 17 touchdowns, seven interceptions in his first eight games in 2021. And that was only passing because he also totaled a couple runs as well. So Kyler was on pace, but in a new offense, is this going to be possible as we are going to be a lot more run heavy than we are going to be relying on the pass? And the answer is, I really don't know because no one else is really gonna take home the award. We had Larry Fitzgerald back then, we now have Mark Marvin Harrison Jr., which no matter how good he's going to be, I mean, we saw Tyree Kill put up a ridiculous stat line and he did not walk away with it. So no matter how good Marvin Harrison Jr. is in the next five years, I just don't think it's possible. So it's all gonna fall onto Kyler to break that curse. I think he is going to benefit a lot from this new offense. He's gonna have a lot of easy plays and he is going to be able to get in the end zone a lot with his legs as he is going to be finally rehabbed and fully healthy. I think Kyler is also going to benefit in the pass game as well as everything is going to open up. Now he finally has a true number one receiver and I am kind of ready for this. I think Kyler Kyler has a legit shot. It might not be this year, but we are going to find a lot of success and Kyler is going to come into his own. And I am excited about that, but it is kind of crazy looking at this graphic right here and just kind of realizing that we have never had an MVP. I think Kyler is the guy to do it. I genuinely think he is the only guy to do it just because how honestly biased 
the MVP award is, it won't go to anybody but the quarterback. And Kyler is one of the most talented in the league. So if it's going to go to anybody, it is going to be him. And I need you guys to let me know if you guys think Kyler in the next three years has a chance at winning the MVP and reverting back to 2021 where he was dominating the league. It's very possible, but there are a lot of talented quarterbacks in the league like Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, and Aaron Rodgers even that can take the award. So just let me know how you guys are feeling about it. I just thought it was pretty interesting. I wanted to hop on here today and kind of just chop it up and ask you guys if you think that's possible. I want your guys' opinions as well. So let me know if you guys ended up enjoying today's video and did not know that the Cardinals never won an MVP or any of the teams that are on this graphic. Let me know what the most surprising one is. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post Arizona Cardinals and NFL related content. So if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, man, that is all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. Hello.